So I have uh, other social media outlets or uh, sites, I guess. Uh, and uh, what I'm going to put on a uh, commissioner, uh, you know, political uh, site where I'm seeking people's votes here in Coral Gables that I need. Uh, we're going to try and keep Coral Gables to some semblance of what it's been without the rampant development. Um, I have to be very careful about whether or not I do something that might be interpreted as uh, off the wall. Um, so with that apology up front, this is pure speculation on my part. But I think, I think all of us uh, are very aware of hurricanes. And it's unfortunately something which affects us in many ways. Uh, we get hurricane damage. We get uh, the back draft of high hurricane insurance rates. Um, hurricanes in Miami seem inseparably wet and we're all concerned about it one way or the other. So then you probably heard these conspiracy theories where they're saying that um, uh, there's some capability uh, to manipulate the weather and even have some influence on uh, hurricanes. Have you heard those conspiracy theories? Um, uh, all right, so if, if you haven't, let me just go ahead and lay that out. Uh, HARP, H-A-A-R-P. I think it's like High Atmospheric Advanced Research Project. Um, and uh, they have, it's, it's been on, uh, in, in the news in various locations. I think that um, uh, the governor of Minnesota, what's, what was his name, uh, the, the wrestler, he had that show on which uh, cable news uh, program of conspiracy theory. And he, he went out and uh, did videos of this place. So there is a place out in uh, Alaska where they apparently, it's, first of all, DARPA invented the internet, all right? And then DARPA invented HARP. So these, this is the defense industry. These are the people who changed the world. DARPA. They invented the internet. Uh, and if we uh, take Wikipedia uh, at its face, they did do HARP, and it was designed to um, potentially, according to Lyndon Johnson, uh, control the weather. <laughs> uh, you know, we've heard of seeding uh, clouds to pre prevent hurricanes, all this stuff, right? But um, the darker side of it or something is that, uh, that they use microwave technology to uh, project them up into the high atmosphere and um, create a high pressure zone through uh, microwave signals uh, in, in the high atmosphere. And now you know with hurricanes that where there's a high pressure area, hurricanes don't go. So if it's true that they can create a high pressure zone, then they could, in fact, uh, influence the direction of, uh, of a hurricane. Um, so there's an allegation, and I, I really, I mean, this is where it gets kind of flaky, right? That, um, that, that a hurricane was about to hit Hawaii, and suddenly it stopped in reverse course or whatever happened to it, but um, again, the conspiracy theory is that they created a high pressure zone, right? I mean, this is great, right? As long as you got, you're working with the people that do the high pressure zone, if it were true, right? Um, uh, conversely, well, I don't want to get into the, some of the dark aspects of it. The, the question is then, is that real or not? And does it... Uh, has been applied to hurricanes. And so let me just spell it out. I, I, an admirer of one of the great conspiracy, 
Uh, former Defense Minister of Canada, Paul Hellyer, uh, says that there are extraterrestrials who made it to Earth and actually may have taken over 6,000 years ago. <laughs> Best thing to do is laugh, right? Is there anybody you know that uh, thinks he's a very strange person could be an extraterrestrial? Just joking. Um, but actually, I've, I've studied him. I have some respect for him. And he's now endorsed this um, organization called geoengineeringwatch.org, uh, headed by Dane Wigington. And I used to think, quite honestly, that Wigington was wigged out, and I just couldn't put any attention to this because we have to deal with hurricanes, right? I mean, like, this is real in our life. We're not talking about, um, you know, tea and crumpet conversation here. Um, but when uh, Paul Hellyer endorsed them and said that they're for real, I started looking into it. I, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it, but uh, it's certainly frightening if it's true because um, um, they're accused of uh, creating a high pressure zone in California and um, which has given rise to all the California wildfires that there that is Dane Wigington says that there's uh, an artificial high pressure zone high atmospheric pressure zone that's been stationary over California for over a decade and is why they get no rain and uh, why they have all these forest fires. Um, I guess we've just been getting these hurricanes forever. Has there been anything, was there any reason that it happened to hit Puerto Rico? I don't know, but I think we need to find out. Wouldn't you agree? We have uh, too much to lose here. If this is possible, um, and I think it is. I, I mean, I don't know whether it is, but I'm going to be looking into it. I don't know. I mean, I don't know because I'm not a meteorologist, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I am going to be looking into it. So please, uh, let, me, let me backtrack. I'm not trying to give any kind of saying I think it is. I, I don't have any idea because I'm not a meteorologist, et cetera. But I'm going to be looking into it.